everyone welcome back to my channel just Ria I am Ria and in today's video I'm going to be telling you why I chose Connections Academy over K-12 so um during the enrollment process for K-12 K-12's enrollment process is very similar to Connections Academy on both of them you fill out generic paperwork telling you about your kid and, and you they want to know about you and your kid your situation you know who's all how many siblings they have this that and the other then you do the enrollment documents which is the regular enrollment documents that you provide a regular school when you do a face-to-face -face hand exchange with the documents the report card social security card birth certificate immunization card all of that you still need those forms when you're enrolling um so up until the up until that step, everything is the same. The next step is what's different. So with with K twelve, I was told that you know I I could enroll them for fall or spring. They still had space for the fall. Well, I I did that, and come to find out, they were like, you know, yeah, we know you enrolled for fall, but we're not doing fall anymore. We're just going to do spring. So it was misinformation and. I feel like that wasted a lot of my time because I was doing all of this rushing to get stuff done so that I can make sure that I got them in and it was like okay I could have just you know not pressured myself so much to get all those stuff, all the stuff that they said that they needed but luckily I did have it because luckily I did do it because when I went to enroll them in Connections Academy instead I already had it because they required the same documents because it's tailored to your state so as far as after the enrollment documents um i'm not gonna lie k-12 is on it when they're verifying them doc those documents because like i was literally uploading them and as i was uploading them they were being verified versus connections academy i literally had to call several times and like the fifth time I think she probably heard it in my voice like I was like what is the problem like what is going on and she just put me on hold and verified the documents right then and there and when she was verifying them it didn't take long but I'm assuming that I guess it just sits there until someone puts the fire to them to do it um but K-12 they they get that stuff verified it doesn't sit now as after that point um the I kind of just was sitting just like a sitting duck on both ends but Connections Academy ended up approving us first K-12 ended up approving ended up approving us a couple days after Connections Academy but it wasn't for this year so they're currently at Connections Academy now they are approved for enrollment at K-12 for January so oh it's kind of like we're trying we're doing a trial with connections academy but i think we're gonna like it i'm i'm liking it so far it's really laid back it's not you know it's very flexible so down to the point to why i'm leaning more towards connections academy is because of the flexibility is number one they have live sessions where they're in a virtual classroom with their stu with other students and with the teacher it's interactive and um, you know, at that point, they're able to discuss anything that they need to that they need to discuss with their teacher. But it's optional, so you don't have to go if you don't feel you need it. K twelve, from what I understand, it's not optional. You have to be on those class connects. That's what they call it at K twelve class connects. And with what we have going on in my situation everyone's situation is different so with what we have going on in my situation i need as much flexibility as i possibly can at connections academy it's optional you know and if you do join at connections academy it is counted as participation so at connections academy they at least want you to connect with your teacher at least twice out of the week that could be via email phone call or the class um, live sessions so with Connections Academy, I think it's the same way, but you're connecting with your teacher every day. So, you know, that's the, a huge difference. Um, also, 
with Connections Academy, I, I, you get vacation days. So all of the holidays, they are, they are allotted as vacation days. And you can swap them out if you want. So you don't have to take spring break during the regular scheduled scheme, spring break. You could, you know, let them the teachers know, hey, we're taking our spring break two weeks early and we're just gonna, we're swapping the weeks. So the work week, the two weeks ahead, we're swapping that with spring break and we're gonna work during the regular spring break. I think that is so awesome. Um, as long as your work is done by the end of the week, you're good. You, I lock the attendance um, at Connections Academy, so you know they're of course going to be attending. You have to get at least 25 hours a week at Connections Academy, and I think it's the same with K-12. But I'm not sure if the the learning coach locks it. Um. As far as I know, I know Connections Academy, the, the learning coach logs, the attendance. Also at Connections Academy, um, I'm the one that checks their work. So when they are done, before it gets submitted to the teacher, it comes to me first. And I think that is a huge, huge, huge plus because that gives them the opportunity to correct any mistakes. And who wouldn't want that for their kid? So for right now, um, and I would do an updated video maybe a month in so probably in December when the semester is about to end I will do an updated video on how we are liking Connections Academy one month in so stay tuned for that thank you so much for this video um, I'm sure both schools are great I think it's just tailored to the parents expectations and you know what they what they need and what they want for me, flexibility is a plus. It's a huge factor in my decision. So we are enrolled, approved to enroll for January at K-12, but I'm thinking that we're probably not going to continue the enrollment because um, so far we are liking um, Connections Academy. My kids, they love it. My um, fifth grader she had her first live session the other day and she absolutely loved it my first grader she had her first lesson and nailed it I mean it is so interactive it is so like like it just clicks and that is something that they have been missing since this pandemic started um and I'm, I'm just really like I'm really looking forward to getting more into the lessons like they are really pumped and they can't wait to the morning starts like I have to get on this is how serious they are about learning right now they try to get up at five o'clock in the morning so that they can do work and I have to get up and like no school doesn't start until I have to set a time for them or they will try to get up at three o'clock in the morning to come to their little area and do school work but I'm loving the enthusiasm that it's giving them. That shows me that this this school is doing something right, that they're, it's getting them pumped up to learn, and that's what I need, that's what I want. Because where they were before, they wanted to sleep all day. They didn't want to do the work. They didn't, what work was it to do? It wasn't interactive, it wasn't, you know, they wasn't learning, they knew they weren't learning anything. It was pointless, so. But to each his own, you know, not saying anything bad about any teachers at all. You know, I know it's been a learning curve for everyone during this pandemic. And, every, you know, we're all trying to adapt. However, I do feel like the, t the teachers, they're put into a place to where they have to choose. You know, I know they're, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure they want to give their all to all of their students, but at the same time, you can only do what's right in front of you. And if you're having face-to-face -face students in front of you, you kind of don't have time for the virtual students. You just, you have to do what you have to do in order to, you know, give them something to do because they're not right in front of you versus the people you have in front of you. You know, your, your attention, of course, is going to be directed there first. And I get it. <clears throat> but I hope that somewhere along the lines they end up perfecting their system, their virtual system, if they're going to continue to do virtual 
they definitely need a system to where the parents can be more involved um, so that we're not always bugging the teacher or so lenient on the teacher like give us access to where they need to really look into k-12 and connections academy system on how they have built it to where it's really independent it's independent learning for the students it's independent learning for the learning coach so many resources that we can use before we even reach the teacher but the teacher is there if you need her because that's their job or or him but that's enough i will um as you can see i'm so excited about this like i am pumped Thank you so much for tuning into this video, you guys, and I will see you in another video. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if this video helped you in any way, or if you, you know, just here because you're fam. And um, subscribe if you haven't, if you're new. And I'll see you guys in another video. Stay tuned for the unboxing. Bye.